All right, so here is the polar set that I'm going to be using. So this is from Harbor Freight item 62601. So basically, you've got your different size uh, bearings. I think this one's probably going to work the best. So you just find out which which one will fit in your bearing with a tight fit. And then once I tighten this bolt down, these splines are going to expand out. All right. And then it's so it's going to attach itself in there. And then I'm going to screw on the slide hammer on the end of this. And then I'm going to I'm going to impact it out that way. Doesn't have to be like Superman tight. I've already got it actually to where I can't pull it out with just finger tightening it. So it should be enough. All it has to do is just grab that inner edge and then hopefully my, my homemade engine stand can keep this thing in place a little bit while I smack on this. coming out. I don't know if you can see it very well anymore, but it's, it is working. I'm just trying to keep it, I gotta make sure I try to keep this as perpendicular as I can. All right, now I tighten a little bit so it's you know, solid. You see it's coming. I mean, now I've got it past that lip about an eighth of an inch. So any one of these times, it's just gonna hit me in the face when I hammer back on this. So now I'm starting to be careful. Starting to hit lighter, lighter and lighter. There we go. There we go. So, I mean, so you can see like, I can still almost kind of move this bearing around just a little bit. like. It doesn't need to be super tight on there. It's gotta be just enough to where you can't pull it back through, so.